Hi, my name is Caleb Kilma, and I'm going to be doing a speech over the most interesting man in the world, or, or Jonathan Goldsmith and Augustin Langrad. However, I'll be mainly focusing on Jonathan Goldsmith this speech, as he was the OG and the proprietor for the persona of the most interesting man in the world. Now, before we get onto his career, we'll start with his early life, which began on September 26, 1938, in Boston, Massachusetts, as that's the day he was born. And he grew up with a mother who was a model and a father who was a gym teacher. The three of them were Jews, and while growing up at the end of World War II, it didn't stump his creative growth. He went to college in Boston, Massachusetts, the place where he was born and raised, and he graduated in 1958 and wanted to pursue his dream of acting. He started on the New York stage in the early 60s and stopped appearing in TV shows and TV commercials around the late 90s. However, in 2007, he got a partnership with Dos Equis. Now, Dos Equis wanted to create a commercial that really grabbed the attention of the populace and revitalized their brand. Now, he had a chance to work a lot with the persona of the most interesting man in the world and really based it solely off his deceased sale partner and dear friend of his, Fernando Lamas. Now, Jonathan really thought that Fernando captured this life of the most interesting man in the world. And he had a chance to really create and imagine that in a commercial, which later became a meme. Now, the meme began in 2007 with the first commercial that Dos Equis released, and it really led to many other popular formats and really influenced internet culture as a whole. Now, to start off with the saying, I don't always drink beer. However, when I do, it's Dos Equis. Now, this was changed into many relevant topics that really related to the viewer. Now, what came after? Augustin Lengrad started with Dos Equis in 2016 after replacing Jonathan Goldsmith during his nine years. Now, Augustin would later become the most interesting man in the world, part two, as Dos Equis wanted to revitalize and reboot the brand as Jonathan was what they thought was getting worn out and tired. I don't care.